Let's go ahead and start removing the grill from the bumper cover assembly. To do that, you're going to find three push clips coming across the top. You'll have one in the very center, and then on one on either side, very close to the headlamp. The one on our passenger side is missing. To remove each of your push clips, generally you just come to the center, lift that up and out, which will unlock the outer portion. After that, you can lift up the outer portion as well. Now we can carefully grab onto the grill. We'll start rolling it up and lift it away. Looking at the back side of the grill, on each side, you're going to find that you have these hooks that come down. That's why we had to roll it and lift it up. Now we're going to move along to removing the emblem from in the center. On the back side, you're going to find that you have three locking tabs, two up along the top here and one down low. We'll squeeze these two, push this one up, and press it out through the front. Once it starts coming out of there, generally you can just kind of pull it out. And there it is, friends. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new grill assembly. Before you go ahead and put this on here, if you wanted to color match it paint-wise, you'd want to do that prior to the installation. Assuming you don't mind it being this color, let's continue on with installing our front badge. You remember those tabs that we had to squeeze to remove it from the grill? We're going to go ahead and line those up with their corresponding holes in the grill and then gently press it in. Listen for a click from all of it. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's secure. You want to make sure it doesn't fall off while you're driving down the road. That feels good. Let's get ready for our installation. Let's get ready to install our grill. If you were to look at the back side, you're going to find that you have your three mounting holes for your push pins. Let's go ahead and take this and we're going to line up our alignment hooks here with the areas on the headlamp assemblies that it fits into. Go ahead and slide it up on there. Do the same on the other side. Once both of them are lined up, you should be able to press it down, line up all of your push pin holes, and continue on with your three push pins. Let's put in our push pins going all the way across. 